It is too quiet here. Where are the brothers or the abbot's men? I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you, brother? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Kinnebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tedman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Cunnebert, your guests have arrived. I where it you up we must you you talk this watch up. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Full Caleb slipped that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. I want Fulke to suffer. of summer, mists and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars light your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have long been away. But it is fiercely beautiful beneath the vanity, arrogance, and pettiness of men. I should like to see it. You could if you wish. My father was an architect, a builder of wonders. The great mosque of Samara, his masterpiece. Another man, who played the caliphate's game better to the credit. He was exiled, and died in poverty. Your faith sours. What of loyalty? Shared stories round the hearth. Warm nights, bodies. And the tender love of another. There are some who are worthy. A scant few that tower above the solid mass. Men and women of vision and valor. Sigurd is one such man. He is. Fulke isn't wrong on that score. I fear for him, Basim. I cannot rest until he's free. Nor will I, my friend. The practice of learning has waned considerably in England since the days of the Romans. What books they still have, they keep locked away in their churches, hidden from the eyes of common folk. Thralls and shells cannot read. What would be the point? They could learn. The church could teach them. So much of human history would be open to them. Aristotle, Pythagoras, Euclid, ancient knowledge lost to all but a few hard-headed men of the cloth. You have studied these works yourself. In my youth, I was consumed with a passion for understanding. I spent many hours a day in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. A seminary. A great library full of the greatest learning of mankind. For a boy seeking answers, it holds many riches. 
one day I was sitting cross-legged, devouring a study by the great astronomer Al Khwarizmi. With the swiftness belying his years, the papers were plucked from my grasp by the great man himself. His presence stole my voice. He was kind and open-hearted. He showed me such scientific wonders. And what did you learn there? Calendars and calculations placing the sun, moon, and five planets. Equations that crackled and sparkled with divine intelligence. I asked the great man, is this what it is to know God? You saw your God's hand in the runes? I found wisdom, and I have been searching for more ever since. There is great vastness outside ourselves, Eivor. Most only notice a few grains of sand. But some, like Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow. grains of sand, but some, like Sigurd, I believe, see the endless flow of the hours. What you see in Sigurd, is this what Fulke sees as well? I believe it is. We will find no friends in Canterbury, so try not to draw attention. There is much here to admire, but it was built on God's gold, while his people live in hovels. This land of summer, mists, and forests, dreaming darkly. I see secrets, and I want to know England, all of it. And yet it rounds on us at every turn, snarling like a cornered dog. I begin to despair of ever settling here. Perhaps the stars write your path, and you will never have a home here. Do you miss the land of your birth? I have longed in a way. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready! Follow me! I must be careful now. Baits us, cocksure and arrogant, but she cannot see failure in her path. Chastise me like a child vessel. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served to your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, sly tongue. No riddles. Your destiny is not a single stone to this god of the blood. Oh! <laughs> 
Still here, but in this Christ house. Christ house to the ground. This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the hidden ones. Hyden will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. Hmm. If he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Bassam, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
Arrival. Have you seen Wallace? Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranve. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Folke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances, remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Ranvi. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Look at you, Joey. Wolf kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. This is madness, Dag. I do not accept. This is not a question, Eivor. Come! Let the circle be made! I'll make a goblet of your skull! Please! Please, both of you! Is that the best you can? 
can do? need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. Oh, I know what I must do. You do not see what you do. There is no honor in this. I will grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Please! Please, both of you! You could have waited. You could have come with me. You're a fool, Dag. You see where it's gotten you. Silence! <laughs> He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. It should not have come to this old friend. Take this and fly to Odin's hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvarnished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. We'll find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. This I promise. Dag, you 
lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. Survey the area, Sunan. I need your eyes, my friend. such as the Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I... Uh, I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. Basket of Wessex, land of plenty. Show me. The whole 
waterfront up in flames. Well, that aside, we are making great strides to improve the line. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... Sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Stay around a while and judge for yourself. Oh, I will. Have no fear of that. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Portchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's Garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. Brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Broder and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. Death is close. Did someone find the scout before me? Here. 
there, a scout. Tales to Fulke now. the riverbank north of Crowley. was carrying orders from Fulk. I'd like to see this. I've seen to the scouts. Bassam and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. Have a look, Sunni. Scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. A leader should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Kroindinen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath for the fight.
Eivor, this is a golden We kill them here, or behind the walls of Orchester. Either way, they die. That's the way, Eivor. Glory. And for all time. His head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! You Saxon, you'll join your friends soon enough. <laughs> Is it for that stupid bag of skin you fight? For Sigurd the sickly. <laughs> if Sigurd dies today, I will find your corpse and piss on it. deities like a plague to this land but you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate i decide your fate today saxon i am ready for my final journey let me see what lies beyond i will not go and tell Folke what you saw today tell her eivor is coming to tear her heart from her chest I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. Ooh. He is dead, Eivor. You, will you are wounded, brother. Mercy. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Leave me out of
reckless stripling. I warned you the risk was too great. Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? In spite of our losses, we claim victory here. Arguing over blame will not bring the dead back. If this is what a Raven Clan victory looks like, I cannot wait to see what happens when you lose. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one, but Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I am no errant child to be talked down to by my elders. No. You are supposed to be a leader. So listen now. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Guthrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I am not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, right there ahead of me. Together we'll bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. We will leave immediately. Besides, there are men of Vesex, Alfred's folk, no brothers of yours. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here soon. We need a short while to organize the men.